Hi everybody. Um, so I'm going to attempt the old Christmas wreath. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's a tricky one. <laughs> it's going to challenge you. Um, but I think we're all ready for a challenge. It's Christmas after all coming up. <laughs> Nothing more <laughs> challenging than Christmas. So there are th there's some things that I've done to make life a little bit easier, hopefully. Um, all of the objects, so we've got the oranges, the orange slices, the cones, the berries, a lot of the leaves are all repeated. So they're the same shape and they're the same colouring. So you can kind of do it in batches. So what I, I'm suggesting to do is... I'm going to do all of my berries all at once and then stick them wherever they've got to go and then maybe you could do your slices all at once so what we've got one two three four four slices you could do them as a batch um, same with the cones just to make life a little bit easier I think um, but it's entirely up to you. But that that's, I'm gonna, I'm also not, let me just move this out of the way. So this is one sheet that I've got. Um, in all honesty, <laughs> I haven't got enough room <laughs> to actually put it all together. So I'm gonna do it as individual sheets initially. Obviously there's gonna be um, bits where it's gonna kind of go off the sheet. But by doing it, like I'm saying in batches, I can, although it might be a slightly different orientation, I can have that same um, slice. I can literally do that slice and I can do it four times, just that one slice. And then it's only just got to be rotated around or slipped under something else, if that makes sense, hopefully. So, um, I'm going to start. What am I going to start with? I'm going to start with um, the berries. A bit, little bit fiddly, but I'm just going to show you that you can kind of. You don't. Although I've drawn all these lines, you don't have to follow them all absolutely. Um, if it's slight, I mean, obviously it's got to be round for a berry. Um, but the bits inside it don't have to be exactly the same. It's more, you're more kind of looking at the colours that have been used and the arrangement of it. So I'm just going to draw around, initially draw around the whole thing. I'm going to just put the inside bits in as well. That's basically it. And that is the same as that one. It's just moved around and it's the same as that one. Okay. So I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to... Oh, the light's not very good, is it? Hold on. Dear me. Um, so I'll draw around it. I think the easiest thing for me to do is to just build up the layers. So my first layer, um, what am I going to have as my first layer? Got all of these reds. So I've just got to decide. Looking at my plan. I need a good pale, oh, it's pink really, and then I need um, one, two, three, four different tones. So let me find a pink first of all. That 
all the work. I kind of want to send a little bit in there. I am in my usual chaos, and I'm not joking. You can only see this bit, but the rest of it. <laughs> I have got way too many things going on at the same time. That's not great. I know what I'm looking for, but whether I can find it, of course, is a different matter. It's a bit, a little bit thick this, and I'm because I'm building the layers up. I don't want to over do it. That's oh, I like that. That's cool. That'd be quite cool. As a little highlight. And now I've got to decide. Um, so that's my palest. I need another palish one. Again, that's a bit thick. But I also want to make sure that I've got enough for all of my berries so that they kind of all look the same-ish. But you don't have to have the same -ish, same if you don't want to. No, I think I'll probably go with that. That one. That one. So I've got the main body, that pale one, slightly darker one, a really dark one, and that one. So pale, main body. I've got some more of that than my. last colour I think so I'm going to build on that so I'm going to just cut out says try and look for some scissors these ones will do so I'm going to cut out my circle if you're really care clever you could probably cut out few circles all at the same time. How circular they'll be, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's have a go. Let's see if we fold it over. Let's see if we can cut a couple out at the same time so I've just folded it over save a bit of time Bad. I mean they're not they don't need to be perfect because you know life isn't perfect let's just see if I can just turn the light on that be too large that's better okay so that is going to basically make up my three berries so then I'm going to I just need to Find this down a little bit more because as you can see it's it's flapping up. Let's just get a bit more heat on that. So 
So now I need to draw around really carefully so I know exactly what I'm doing. So I need that. Again, I'm going to fold it over. See if we can get a couple out of here. get my scissors in the right place for you to all see and so that I can actually see as well <laughs> my camera's just directly above me so it's kind of in the way right so not easy cutting two of them out at the same time I can tell you it's just a bit too thick thinner fabric probably be easier but when you're doing a bit more fiddly work which this is it's quite tricky I'm not sure my scissors are all that sharp either now Right, it's okay there. So let's find one of these. Just got to separate them and then peel them. And so that's. Bit. So it's just going to basically stick on top there. Okay. I'm going to stick the other one on as well so I don't lose that. to be perfect. It's not about perfection. Mostly it's about trying not to burn your fingers. <laughs> That's what fabric collage is all about, not burning your fingers. I'm going to use this quite bright colour for some of my little highlight bits. So that is basically that bit there. So let's just see how that comes out. Fiddly little bit, come off alright, and just 
correctly work out where it's going to go. It's kind of right over here. There we go. And then I'm going to do do another one as well just so you can so we've got the two there already so we can put them together so you can see them sorry if i'm mumbling a bit i'm just um, <laughs> i'm working it out as i'm going along i just it's just what's going through my brain is just coming out of my mouth so <laughs> basically just talking to myself well, I am, in fact. <laughs> right, so just cut this bit out. Okay. Just by placing them slightly differently as well, because they're all the same, it just, just makes them start to look slightly different. Right, so now I just want my pail. Pail one. So that's that one. Let me put that on there, make sure it still looks okay. Yeah, I think that's all right. I'm going to fold this over and cut two at the same time. Shouldn't be too difficult. And that, I'm just going to give that little line down again so that it's nice and secure on the back. This colour of the bottom of my iron that's all coming out on there. <laughs> good chance to give it a good clean. that over again so I can get two at the same time. I really want a better series but let me get over here. If you're struggling to cut these pieces, small pieces out, just do a square. Be fine. I think I just dropped one. <laughs> So that's whole end of orientation, so that goes over there. So that's kind of like what it's looking like. Don't know how well that's showing up in the light. start placing them in the right spots so just, just peel that back ok 
second. And there is, on the plan, there's a tiny little, I've got dog hair on there. <laughs> right, there's a tiny little stem hole. But I'm not going to do that in the fabric. I'm going to do that when I get him to sew it. I'm just going to do a little stitch, a little extra sort of roundish stitch, just to create that, because I just don't think it's just really tiny. Um, and just not necessary for me to do on here. I'm just going to move this so that you can get a really close look. So, here we go. So, this is my start for the day. <laughs> it take 20 minutes to do two, two berries. Should, should be with a doddle. So, I'll see you on my next go. Bye.